Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the Cleveland Sandwich. Why is it called the Cleveland Sandwich? So the first thing we're going to do is mix flour into a beaten egg. That goes into a double boiler with condensed milk, not sweetened condensed milk, water, and vinegar. And then we cook that until it's thick. Okay, now that it's pretty thick, we are to add in store cheese, which I looked up and is actually just cheddar cheese. All right, with our cheese melted in, we add in diced up olives, diced up green pepper, and pimentos. We stir that together and let it sit and cool, and then we can make our sandwich. It's cooled down, and uh, I think this might taste good, but I think the texture is going to be wrong. Okay, let's give this Cleveland sandwich a go. Flavor-wise, this is quite good. You've got the, this tangy, snappy cheese with pimentos, salty olives, and green bell pepper. But the texture is grainy. And I follow the instructions here. I'll put them up on screen. Yeah. Um, it says to add flour to the egg, and then cook all the wet ingredients over a double boiler until thick. Well, as soon as the vinegar hit the milk and the egg, it curdled, and now it's grainy. I'm not sure how this could ever succeed as written. Um, Flavor-wise, it's good. Texture-wise, it's not. I'm gonna try plussing it up with one thing. I'm gonna toast it. Okay, let's give this maybe plussed up Cleveland sandwich a go. It is nicer with the toast. Still didn't fix the insides though. Still grainy. I read something online of a way to fix a curdled cheese sauce. So I wanna give that a try. First thing I'm gonna do is rewarm the cheese mixture. Then I'm gonna add in a little heavy cream. I have no idea if it's gonna work. Well, it got somewhat smoother, but still grainy. All right, so the original Cleveland sandwich, still no idea why it's called the Cleveland sandwich. But flavor-wise, it was actually quite good. Um, I think if, if the consistency was there, that probably would have been a seven and a half, eight sandwich. But the consistency was terrible, so it's gonna be a four. Um, plus up by putting it in the toaster, five. <laughs> If you've got ideas on how to rework this recipe so that it actually works, the flavors work, and it's consistent and smooth and creamy using these same ingredients, let me know, because I tried this twice and it did not work. Oh well. See you tomorrow.